We're learning more about a sex trafficking network in Colorado Springs. We first report, reported yesterday that three women, two in the Springs and one in Pueblo, were arrested in the case. They face charges of human trafficking and pimping. Carradio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison has reaction tonight. He's live at the Police Operations Center. Scott. Well, Jonathan, of course, Springs Police, one of several agencies involved in this investigation. Authorities would not identify the locations of the spas or massage parlors that are associated with this case. However, we checked with state property records and found the suspects' names listed as being either owners or operations, or I should say owners or operators of four such businesses. And we visited two yesterday, got little to no response, but fared better today when we visited the two other businesses. It's tucked in the back of a tobacco shop on West Colorado Avenue. June Massage and Healing Art Relaxation are the two names it's been listed under, and records name Myong Bogdani of Pueblo as the operator. She's one of three suspects arrested in the latest human trafficking case. No one was here when we stopped by, and no one answered when we called the number on the door. According to one report, the businesses involved offered sex acts or paid for recruiting prostitutes. A regular tobacco shop customer shares her opinion about the case. I've known multiple people who have visited these establishments and been offered uh, favors in return for monetary compensation, for sure. Employees of a restaurant across the street say they saw Bogdani being arrested. They're not surprised about the circumstances involved. People come in late at night and, uh, you know, hours that are under the godly, I guess. Uh, uh, hours that people wouldn't come in normally. Uh, they stay there all the time. They never really leave. Records also list another suspect, Covey King, in connection to this location on Park Vista Boulevard near Austin Bluffs and Barnes. No one was here either when we stopped by. A neighbor says there had been a steady stream of male customers at night several years ago, but things have been quiet recently. And there used to be a, a, a red light actually on uh, at the entrance. A steady flow of traffic uh, of uh, primarily gentlemen uh, driving in over there. And we know that suspects Covey King and Myung Moon are free on bond tonight, but suspect Myung Bogdani is in jail here and is scheduled to appear in court on Monday. And we'll keep tracking the progress of this case. We're live in the Springs tonight. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.